Internet Big Al here over here at, at Paler. Uh, let's take a quick look at polar tracking. I want to look at polar tracking because it's very similar to ortho. Okay, on your keyboard, on your uh, status bar down here, there's polar, there's ortho. As a reminder, here's ortho. Okay, we come up with ortho on. See, it's highlighted blue. We ortho on, pick up line, and we just do a line. Cool. We'll click and click. Now you see the break in it. Now we're ready to do another line. What ortho forces us to do is either go 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or 270 degrees. But what if we want to go in another direction? What if we want to go at 30 degrees? Well, let's see how that works. That's why we have polar tracking. I'm going to turn off ortho and I'm going to turn on polar. Okay. I'm going to right click polar for a second and I'm going to set up 30 degrees. Let me do that again. Right click polar and I'm going to choose 30 degrees from its menu. Okay. Now watch. Oops. Now watch. I'm going to pick up line. Click and left click. Now watch. 30 degrees. So this reads 3.5016 in length. See it? Polar colon 3.5016 at an angle of zero degrees. We move just a smidgen. Bloop! 30 degrees. Keep rotating. 60. 90. 120. You see? That's the beauty of polar. Now, again, right clicking polar. Go with, um, I don't know. Go with uh, go with 90. All right, there we are, 90 degrees. Pick up a line, and notice now it'll go 90. See, it'll snap 90. Okay. Now, let's say for instance that you need some really small increment. You're working with something weird like a like a gear or something. Well, let's go into polar. Right click, left click, five degrees. Okay pick up line, left click, left click, and then notice every five degrees it locks in five degrees, ten degrees, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, so on so forth. Alright? Nice? You bet. Ah, let's go back down here one more time. Let's go into settings. So we're right clicking polar going into settings and guess what we see? The draft settings window. Remember this from object snap and snap and grid? Well, guess what? We can set up our polar tracking here in incremental angles, or we can add angles that we want to increment. Okay? It's really neat. So we're set up at 5. I don't want to be set up at 5. I'm going to go to uh, 45. That's better. All right. Um, the other thing to notice about uh, uh, polar snap is that you can use it with or without snap. You know, so if you're not into the snap, how do you do that? Well, you come over. Hmm, let me make a slight change here. Stand by just a second. Okay, you can right click snap. Okay, polar snaps on. Okay, polar snaps off. Okay, go into settings and polar snap on, polar snap off, whatever you want to do. Okay, all of that stuff is down here. All right. So you can work with polar both in the on and off condition. That is a quick and dirty uh, look at, uh, at polar. It's just like ortho, except you can choose the angles you want. It's good for working in circles, okay, rather than squares. So this is Big Al over here at Paler. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this.